Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I want to play with or do a little bit on my power my house from my solar panels and store it on batteries video series that I've been doing for years and never gotten very far and I'm not gonna go very far today either but I am gonna try and do something I'm making a lithium ion battery just under one kilowatt hour of stored power on that one and the thought is that it's going in here in my little um, basement thing and uh, right here behind me I have a UPS it's an older one it's a 3000 volt amp version which corresponds with about 2250 watts coming out of it and I want to power that and that's these leads coming out of that uh, that goes to the battery well so actually they are the leads coming into it and um, well from that I would be able to power about 10 amps of power to the house that's not all my house that's just all the everyday the lights the computers the the stuff it's not the data center and it's not the oven or the washing machine well actually the washing machine might just might just work but um, I have gotten some new stuff I talked about this very cheap MPPT controller which is definitely not an MPPT controller so I went out and I bought another one this is not too expensive either but it's um, quite a better quality so let's let's just have that out of the box manual very important I have been looking in have been looking in that we have some certificate and there is there is even a battery temperature sensor thing here there's a couple of mounting brackets and some more paperwork and then there is a nice red charge controller it's not very big um, I think it's a mini version of the big ones you can get out there so I thought this was really cute um, this is kind of I bought it to my system here it will be able to do 40 amps my solar panels are I have 1000 watts of solar power and they come they they make they are the thin films uh, the oldest version of them so the voltage is about 60 volts so the amperage is not that high and I'm planning on using a 48 volt battery bank so this charge controller can really do the double amount of what I have so that's always good so it's, it doesn't get stressed out or anything like that so that's really nice um, it has some connection in the bottom here which you can see there is a little port for some data output I really like that so that has come in and that has to replace this one at some point but I read in the manual that I have to reconfigure my solar panels right now I'm just paralleling all the solar panels that are on the roof of my garage and I believe there is 27 of those and um, they are, the, the voltage is coming in parallel so it's about 60 62 volts that is perfect for this one because this can handle 130 volts but that also means that I can serial connect my solar panels on the roof out there too so I can make a um, kind of take every second pair of solar panels and make a series and up the voltage to about 120 125 volts and the charge controller will be able to do that and that's a really effective way of getting the power down here the higher the voltage the the thinner the cables you need and the smaller losses you get which is very awesome and um, I needed this charge controller because the project has uh, well it has gotten another kick if you're a patreon supporter of mine you will have seen this but right down here beside me 
is a lot of batteries. There are 24 batteries and these are all UPS batteries. Each of these batteries, if you discharge them slow enough, can hold about a thousand watt hours. So if these batteries was brand new, they would hold 24 kilowatt hours. So I would be able to, well, power my house for at least a week on these batteries. I'm pretty sure of that, not including the data center. But that's a lot of batteries. I was planning on using small automotive batteries like these. This one is actually not that much smaller, but well, still it's, it's smaller. And even with those, this uh, shell that they are on here, it's bowing down. This wood in here is not really taking that weight very nice. So I was um, planning on taking this apart and putting the first layer of batteries at the bottom. Um, I was planning on putting those on the concrete floor in here, but someone in the comments said that that was a bad idea. I really have no idea why that's a bad idea. Is it just because the concrete is cold? Um, he didn't get back to me on that. So I might look into just putting something on the bottom to have the batteries sitting on, but definitely I need to take this apart. So um, we can do that. For the curious one, this is the batteries. It's a 12 volt battery. It's able to supply 2130 watts for 15 minutes. Then the cells, there are six cells in a battery like this. Uh, that will bring each cell down to 1.6 volts, which is not a good thing. Uh, it can do that if the temperature is 25 degrees. If the temperature is lower, that's not a good thing. Normal float voltage at 25 degrees will be 13.62 volts. If you discharge these slower, you get more power out of them. You can see that um, 15 minutes of 2130 watts. Well, if you discharge them over 10 hours, you actually get over 1000 watt hours. This would not be 1000 watt hours. It would barely be over 500 and 50 watts hours if you took the power out this fast. But this is meant for an UPS and you want the UPS to have full power um, for the first 15 minutes and then the generator should kick in. These batteries are not good for what I'm doing here at all, but well, they were available. So let's just measure the voltage. There's an end, there's a dead end right there. Go away, dead end. Okay. 13.06 volts and it is cold around here and the battery is 10 years old. It's actually a bit more than 10 years old. Let's see, there's a timestamp here. This battery was produced the 8th of September 2006. So it's 11 years old. Okay. I just removed the Chinese charge controller here. I um, started by taking out the small uh, leads that I have been playing with because I accidentally touched the two earlier and that gave some sparkling. Then I removed the solar panels connections here and I taped that to prevent them from touching. Um, and I did the same with the battery bank here made sure that they are not able to touch each other. I am gonna dismount this. First battery is free. I was curious of how these batteries was doing. They have been sitting in here um, connected to the charge controller for ages. So I measured them and they're really doing okay. 13.44 volts, 13.67, 12.56, and this one, 13.6. That's not bad at all. So that's kind of cool. So the little cheap Chinese charge controller has been keeping them up to date. Okay. I have moved the UPS out of here as well. Um, my thought is that these 
shells even though they claim that they can hold 265 kilograms per shelf um, I don't believe that they can do that up there I just don't trust that enough I could according to that I would be able to store all the batteries in one shelf I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna store half of the batteries in this shelf and I bought one just like it that I'm gonna place over here when I clean up enough to actually fit it over there and um, I have bought it it's it's just upstairs but I'm not gonna get that far today I actually just want to get one roll of batteries the roll of batteries that is going to be on the floor but to get them off the floor and able to fit in there I had to raise up the bottom shelf enough for them to go in there so the batteries has to go in here and they came with some mounting gear which I will be able to put on like something like that so I can have two batteries like this and my dream is that I'll have them in here in this in the shell I'll have two over here two over here connect them together as a bank that wall is really ugly sorry about that um, and connect out on the front of the batteries so that I can get to them I also made some pieces to get them off the ground uh, this is fiber drywall it's um, it's non-flammable I don't know it was it was sitting around just screaming my name so I took it and these protective caps so that well nothing can touch the leads in here which is really cool so if I was to drop something down behind the shelf and eh, nothing bad could happen nice and um, I am spacing them out like this because I'm planning that in the middle of this I'll have something helping the next roll of batteries up here so something to the ground and uh, probably a piece of wood to help hold the pressure of the next layer of batteries Okay, I did two rolls. There is one down here at the floor as well. And uh, before you start with all your fuses and stuff, I am gonna fuse this, but I have six of these banks of 48 volts. So they are gonna be delivering about 500 watts a piece. That is tiny. So that's like a 10 amp fuse. And I'm gonna keep it down there. I don't want these to drain very fast. I want a high voltage 48 volts power bank and i want to use it very slowly and on top of that will of course come the lithium ion battery bank which um, i'm also working on so i would also just like to mention that i used patreon money to get this so uh, thank you to all my patreon supporters for um, making this happen do leave all your smart knowledge in the comments below and thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.